Recently, the bird flu is getting a lot of attention. And I'm not surprised by that, and I am surprised by that. Illogically, I'm not surprised by that, because anything the media can do to scare you is only going to boost their ratings. So, you know, you got to know that. <laughs> anytime there's a snow day or a snowstorm coming through, they get their highest ratings. So anytime somebody's worried about something or scared, they're going to tune in. Um, it, it's just how it works, and they're not fools. They've been doing this for years. So the bird flu is getting some attention, even though four people in the U.S. have gotten it. And I just want to take a moment and kind of talk to really the lies and the fears about it. Because every time somebody gets it, I go, oh, there's another person. But the fact is, and even the CDC will admit this, you can't get it person to person. Um, you know, obviously things mutate and things happen, but the only way to get it is from some sort of dairy product that's infected by it or a bird. Um, so unless you're hanging out with birds and, you know, I obviously got to be cautious on the milk you buy and kind of look at consumer reports and I don't know how you even find out, honestly, but you just be cautious with the milk you drink and don't hang out with birds. Um, if you're bird hunting or something, you know, just be careful out there, um, you know, when you're around birds and whatnot. So that's it. You know, those are the only two ways to get it. It's not person to person. So we have to kind of put that aside. That's something they're not telling you. Um, and you have to pay attention to that because if it's not person to person, again, unless you're drinking the wrong milk or you just got it from a bird, that's that's it. Like, that's your ways of getting it. Yet, the U.S. government has just given Moderna $174 million to establish a vaccine. And it's predicted that there will be a vaccine. And, 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 and what a shocker. And I'm just going to say this now, being July, it's coming in October. I can almost promise you that around October, there's going to be vaccines for this new pandemic that you can only get from cows and birds. Um, so just know that's a thing, you know. The other thing they're saying is now it's mutated because what they used to call it was the H5N1 and they're still calling it, but now there's the H5N8. You know, so just be cautious and don't listen to the fears, you know. Um, I find this personal because, you know, my wife and I shared this in another video about a month ago that it's something that actually scared her, you know, because they're reporting, oh, it's got a 50% mortality rate. And, you know, once one person gets it, everybody's going to get it like all the other flus. And it's not person to person. Uh, so just, so it makes me like when you start to worry my loved ones, I'm, I'm kind of angry about it, especially you're just trying to get ratings or you're trying to push a political agenda or you're trying to push whatever it is. But just know, I you know, mark my words, it's a July video in October, there will be a vaccine for the bird flu. Um, and they're probably, you know, obviously there'll be more than four people that had of it at that point, because I think it was three just about a week ago. Now it's four, uh, but it's four, you know, and they're all. They're all people that work in the dairy and bird industry. So just, you know, get that, get that in your head before you begin to worry. Um, now, with that being said, I, I still think it's important to be prepared uh, because you never know, like with what we saw with COVID-19, you know, I don't think we'll ever really know how that all played out. Uh, but I guarantee you, and I'm sure I'm preaching the choir, there were definitely hands in it. Uh, definitely there was agendas involved uh, for sure. Uh, so that's the part that really worries me. And it, you know, and even then people started taking ivermectin. Uh, they were, you know, saying, oh, the CDC are going to die of this and that. But they were upping the doses by a thousand times what a grown man would take in a month. And if, I mean, you'd up the dose of water, <laughs> you're going to die a thousand times what a grown man can take in a day. So, you know, and now we know ivermectin is very effective. 
so be prepared, you know, have things like ivermectin on hand. Definitely have some Osultimavir. It's it's really like the the uh, like a Tamiflu kind of it's an antiviral. And it it's it, it's good to have on hand. Uh, if you can get it from your doctor, get it. The problem with getting it from your doctor is generally they're not going to prescribe a Soltimavir to you unless you have the flu. Um, and they're definitely my, most likely not going to uh, prescribe ivermectin to you either because they probably don't believe in it. Uh, but you can go to Jace. Uh, I'll put the link below. Uh, I don't work for Jace, uh, but I believe in them. Um, because they created the very first doctor prescribed, U.S. doctor prescribed to you from a U.S. pharmacy, pharmacy emergency antibiotics, and then you can add ivermectin to it, you can add a Soltimavir to it, and you're getting it from a U.S. doctor, and there's just nowhere else to do that. Like, I don't have any doctor friends I can call up. So this is the only way I have of getting it. Um, so I'm going to put that link below. Um, again, a Soltimavir, it's, it's readily available, get it, you know, I would recommend before October for sure. Uh, cause again, once people's agendas are coming in play, you never know what happens with a virus at that point. Um, so, uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insights on any of this? Definitely put it below. I just, the big thing is I just don't want people to be scared. It made me angry when my wife was scared. Um, you know, and that's what they're doing. They're trying to scare you with 50% mortality rates and, oh, yeah, everybody's going to have it, you know, and, and the government's going to save you with their vaccine. And, and you know, you've seen it. <laughs> you've been down this road. Uh, so uh, ivermectin, a sultum of your ham on hand. Uh, always have emergency antibiotics on hand. That link is below. Uh, but don't let the fear scare you. Don't let it get to you. Um, and again, any thoughts or insights, definitely put that below. I uh, do want to take a moment and say most people watch the channel, not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.